So today we're gonna go over my broker platform, Das Trader. Now I just need to say this first and foremost. Das Trader is an execution platform. It's not a broker. By itself, it's a market data provider and the trading simulator. So you can use Das Trader to practice paper trading essentially in real time and still get to use all the features that we're about to talk about. Or you can connect your broker with Das Trader, which is what I have. I have multiple brokers, interactive brokers, center points connected with Das Trader. So, you know, if your broker offers that feature, I would highly recommend using this trading platform. So let's go over the chart settings, indicators, and all that good stuff. So go to quote, click chart, that pulls up a brand new chart over here. So let's make the chart look like, let's say I want to look at Tesla on this chart. Okay, so if we go to right click, configure, by default, you will have tons of these horizontal lines. I think this is a default chart. Default, I think, looks like something like this. And it's just very messy, right? So I want a chart that looks very clean. So go back to configure, get rid of all these lines. So I have this on, but I keep the background color to gray. So then that you will get this setting over here. A few other things that I think I changed. So I think by default, these are unchecked. So you want to check these so they load all the lines that you've drawn in the past, all the trend lines, support, resistance, because I want, I like to keep those lines on my chart. And over here, go to settings, you want to save your trend lines. So that'll automatically save all the lines that we draw. And click OK once you're done, and there you have it. So I want to draw trend lines. I go up here, click this trend line. You can choose to draw trend line, horizontal line. Let's say horizontal line right now. I also have a hotkey for these horizontal um, support and resistance lines, which we'll go over in just a second. Or you can draw these trend lines vertically like so. And if I want to get rid of all the lines, I just right click and remove all lines. Okay, a few other things that we can do is change the indicators. So let's go to study configuration. If you click that, you can see right now I only have the price candle, that's the default. I usually like to have VWAP on there. So let's look for VWAP. You select it and select and add. And once you have that, you commit and you have your VWAP line over here. The next thing I want to change is the volume. You can see the volume over here by default. It's like these volume with a blue outline. It's kind of hard to look at, right? I want my chart to look like this so I can see the green and the red volume really easily like so. So what you do is go to the lower portion of the chart, not the top portion, go to the lower portion, right click, and go to study configuration. You can see we have volume up here by default. So you select that and go to configuration for the volume, right? So the chart type, it's the bar, of course. By default, it has the border. You can see the border lines is a blue line. I don't want that. So you want to check no border. And I usually like to have the volume average as well. You can click display volume average. And I usually like to use 13. And I think that's it. Once you're done, click commit. And commit again and voila, you changed your volume bar down here. So there's a few more things I want to change here. I want to get rid of this ugly ruler over here. I don't ever use that feature. And I want to show these arrow charts for execution. So how you get those things is right click, go to chart area, and then go to configure area. Click that. So um, this is what we want to do. You want to show your trade. If you want to hide your order, you can hide it. And when you can show, show orders, show pending orders are sitting on the chart if you want. Triangle size, that's the execution, the buy and sell arrows. So I usually use three. And also I want to get rid of ruler. So I never use the ruler, but you want to, I like to keep the previous day close line, but if you don't want that, you can uncheck that here. So I think that's it. So click commit and you got rid of the ruler. And unfortunately you have to go to the bottom part of the chart to get rid of the ruler for that part. So you do the same thing again, chart area, configuration, show ruler, uncheck that. 
And voila, you have a very clean chart now. And before I forget, the toolbar up here, let's go over this really quick. You can change your time frame. So one minute, two minute, five minute, or you can do what I do is have hotkeys for all those different time frames. So daily, five minutes. Um, I think I have the 60 minutes, the weekly chart as well, and we'll go over the hotkey in a little bit. Okay, next let's go and look at the montage, which is the level two over here. Um, so I like to have the level two window besides my time and sales. So let's look at some of the setting over here on level two. If you right click, go to level two configuration. So what I like to do first and foremost is change the size of the font. So how do you do that? Click over here this window, click this, and you can change the size to, I think default is 10. I change it to 12, so it's easier for my grandma eyes to see. Uh, so I can change it to 14 now for this example. And you can also bold the letters and the numbers if that makes it easier for you. I can't be the only person who struggle to see all the tiny prints on level two, right? And once you have that, click OK. And I think this is a default. Default, we have the market maker, surprise, the size on level two. So we'll leave that. You can change other things. I don't like to change my order size when I click on level two. So that's why by default it's unchecked. But I check these two because I don't I just want to you know, load the price when I click level two. I don't want to change the route and I don't want to change my order size. So because that's led to you know some mistakes in the past. So that's why I check those things. So that might help you out. And click commit. So once you commit, this is what you get. And honestly, it's a little bit too much. So I'm going to change that back. And how you link your level two to your chart and your time in sales is if you click this little anchor icon up here, you click that and you just drag it to your chart. So you do that with all the charts. You can see if I drag it to the bottom chart, that's going to change the ticker, right? And you do the same with the time in sales. Okay, so let's go to time in sales now. So the same thing, go to configuration. Now by default, the font is also very small. So if I want to change it to 14 and I want to, to be bolded, I can do so. And then I think by default, you also have the time up here, but um, I like to get rid of the time because I really don't need it. I just need the exchange quantity and the price. And then I think everything else looks good and you just click OK. And you can see my font size has changed, but now it looks like extremely crowded. So that might be too much. So next, let's talk about order entry now. So this is what your order entry looks like on the montage by default. We have the buy or buy to cover, the sell or short, it's all the same button. So that's very convenient for me. The cancel and the replace order. Over here, you have all the different routes, depending on your broker and what kind of routes they offer. The, my usual route by the default is Arca limit. And I also have hotkey for that. And also I use edgex sometimes too. And the order size over here, that's pretty straightforward. Day, account, the price. Or you can load the price by clicking on L2. And since we had the you know L2 configuration earlier, when I click it, it doesn't change the order size or the exchange route. So let's talk about the exciting thing that everyone wants to know, hotkeys. These are my Das Trader with Interactive Brokers hotkeys over here. So if you want, you can, you know, make modifications to it or use the same ones as I have. Some of the ones I use a lot are the route changes. I have control A for Arca, control S for EdgeX, control M for market, or I think control D for limit by default. And then some other ones are the, you know, obviously the buy, different buy order sizes, buy at bids, buy at ask, if I'm buying breakout, or buying to cover um, different sizes of covers over here. So there's a lot. I'm not gonna go over all of it. Over here, I have the different time frames that we talked about, F1, F2, F3, all for different time frames. That's easy for me to access and switch my charts back and forth. You no, know, the, the panic button, like you, you must have it if you just in case something, you know, bad 
that happens, you wanna just, you know, market order out everything. Some other ones are, you know, horizontal line, that's the default, the page down button. So some other ones, the short sell or the sell orders, the alt one, two, three, four, five through nine, um, share size change and cancel all orders. So you can take a look. Um, but let me go over some of the most common ones that I use over here. So on the montage, the common one I use is, again, the route switches, control A, A and S to switch my route. Um, also control D to load my share size. So if I have, you know, a thousand shares of beyond and already long, if I control D, that just loads the share size over here. And uh, left and right will switch it, increase the share size by hundreds. And then up and down will change the, the cents, right? Over here, change the price. And if I click control um, right and left, that changes it as well by thousands. Control up and down changes it by uh, 10 cents. So that's really useful. So let's talk about one of the newest features on Das Trader, which is called the data stream mode. What it does is it allows you to go back in time and replay the price action. So that's really useful if you want to go back and practice certain stocks, price action, and back test your strategies. So to access the feature, go to file, click um, data stream mode. So that pulls up this um, quote mode. And right now, obviously, we're in real time, normal, right? If we want to go back in time, we go to replay and click apply. And it'll ask you, are you sure you want to go to replay quote mode? So when you're in replay, you cannot place any real time trades in the market right now, obviously. So we're going to click yes. So let's say I want to back test this stock CODX um, yesterday, which is um, May 14th. So select the date. So you want to download that stock first. You want to download the data and all the price action. Now that it says downloaded, let's go and load that up. CODX. And we want to play the action from May 14th, right? So you want to load it. CODX, I'll click yes and play. And you can change the time over here. So if you go to one minute, you can see, let's go to three minutes. This is the price CODX was trading at on May 14th, around 7.30 a.m. So at the moment, at the time of this recording, they don't have um, level two data in the data stream mode, but hopefully they have that updated sometime in the future. That'll be extremely useful if I really want to back test. So let's say I want to get in CODX, at this current price, you can see I got in at 27.70s and let's see um, where it goes and we can also sell in data stream mode, of course. So let's say I want to sell at, you know, 28.80 or $29. Click that and you can see I just got filled and made tons of Lamborghini money uh, in simulator and you can also change your time and then you no, know, you can speed it up if you want. You can click over here. The control can speed up four times if you want. But if you really want to study the price action, you probably want to practice in real time. And you can also move on forward. You can see where the stock is trading at around 11 o'clock. So this is really useful. If I ever want to go back and back test certain strategies or practice um, certain setups again. So in my opinion, Das Trader is the best trading execution platform. Like I said, I have it connected with multiple brokers. And uh, if your broker allows it, I would you know, definitely consider it. So Das Trader has a few different data packages. The one I have with interactive brokers is the Elite. So that allows me to have level one, level two options, quote, OTC, Arca book, 
and that's all I need, really. So I have the Elite, but they also have a couple of other different packages for you to look at if you want. If you want to try it out for free for 14 days, I have the link for you to sign up below. I also have a video on reading level 2 and time in sales with Das Trader if you want to check that out. So hopefully this video on Das Trader tutorial, hotkeys, all the chart settings, and level 1, level 2 really helps you guys out. If it did, please remember to drop a like at the bottom of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I'm the Humble Trader and I'll see you guys next week. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the video and the bad jokes. If you want to see more day trading content, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Instagram for more. If you like to trade with me daily and get my free weekend watch list and trading journal, make sure to check out the links below for more resources. Stay green, stay positive, and I'll see you guys next time.